Right, that's fine, don't worry. Quite an older camera. Steady as I can, but yeah, got a bit of hand check going on. Um, so let's start from the most obvious. So yeah, it's, um, what is it, 97 Trooper? I've owned this about five years. Uh, before that, it belonged to one of my friends who did quite a lot of the mods on it and then I've taken the project over. So let's start with the basics. It's uh, 3.1, so it's the bulletproof engine one, no bloody injector issues or anything of that crap. Uh, two inch lift on the front, which is just on the torsion bars. Can't really see anything. The rear just changed. That's running about three inch lift. Look at look under. You can see the yellow springs. They're actually um, two inch heavy duty disco springs, which do fit on the troop, but you have to make like a bit of a spring clamp just stop them falling out. Got a set of so zoom in. Getting pretty crusty and rusty now. They're actually um, two inch plus Hilux shocks which do fit and work very well uh, it's on a set of 33 big 12.5s with 15 modulars all the way around the last owner like you can see with this arch gap is looks pretty big front and back and uh, we'll get to this dodgy panel at some point but uh, all the arches have been cut and lifted and the fender flares if what you guys want to call them, bring them, call them different things. Uh, yeah, a shame, those are actually Land Rover parts, so they're off. Uh, Discovery 2, I think it is. They fit pretty well. You're still gonna screw and, you know, drill them into the arches, but they've been on a fair while and they're not the fiberglass cheap ones, so, you know, they take a bit of hammer. Uh, if you do din some, you can just pop them back out. So then, yeah, we've just got the troop snorkel. They must. You can see, um, that's oh, don't get my hand bloody shaky, stop shaking. Uh, box section, box sliders welded in, it's there in there, and made it up together with steel bumper, LED lights, so that's those. There's recovery points on the tow bar under the rear. You can see uh, where the petrol tank is, or diesel tank, is it's all steel sheeted and welded on there, so that's pretty heavy duty. That's one of the bad things about four by fours, especially on this size, is the tank is always at the rear uh, and kind of sits low, but you're always going to catch your, your diff first. But it's always worth protecting your, your tank because if you punch that, then you can lie buggered. So let's go to the front bumper is a custom made one done by Blood Red off-road in Halifax so if any of you guys need any fab work done on bumper stuff like Dave over there is your man he made the bumper for this give you a bit of better view good piece of kit good approach angle so that's the bumper I'd say Dave also made rock sliders which have had a fair bit of ammo, keep touching those up. And again, give it the rear bumper as well. So, carrying spare wheel on the back, just because I like to have a bit of room in the front. And then this little thing, this ladder, um, let me show you it. Everybody asks where I get these, where I've got this from, it's been made up, but it's not, it's actually standard uh, optional extra, which came from Isuzu, but Finding one of those is like rocking our shit, and they're not, it's not even thin. I don't, know, I don't use it for that, I just bought it because it looked good. Uh, and I think I paid about £150 for that a fair few years back, uh, probably three, four years ago. And it took me a long time to find one of those, but it's just because it looks cool. <laughs> so, yeah, other than looking cool, that's all it is. So, let's have a look. Ah, right, rear quarters. I mean, you can see, I'm not guilty of these, but the last owner, Wilkie, if he's watching, hello. Just pretty crazy. Bit of driving one day and decided to fight a stone wall, which didn't work. Well, outcome wasn't good. So I think the damage started, as you can see here, it started on the snorkel and he took the door out, which 
was replaced. But you can just kind of see where the damage starts. He kind of just went <laughs> and took the rear quarter out. So he sheeted those up uh, just to try and make it look a bit better. You can see a bit of damage there. Is a truck, it's what it's there for, just to get a bit beaten up. So that's why he replaced the rear quarters with some alley sheet. And then he did the other side just to match. So when I got it, I sprayed those sort of matching green to kind of make it look a little bit better. Uh, from a distance, you can't really tell. But yeah, Everest says what's that dodgy repair. Right there. Uh, she stands well. She's a good looking truck. Right, what else is the a bit of walking around on this, but your feet are freezing. So we're running Spartan winch on the front. I think we, it's about a nine and a half thousand pound one. So that's running with a you know, synthetic rope because nobody wants a bloody steel rope these days. And why would you? I just want to take your head off if it ever snaps. So that's that. The steering, and you can see, uh, heavy duty tie rods. They're actually again um, Land Rover ones, so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> getting the oval badge goodness on this. Yeah. Not that any good because I'm surprised, you know. <sighs> we don't like to support the oval badges, do we? But yeah, she's a good looking truck. So, what else have we got? What else have we done? Um, most importantly, which you can't see, is underneath there in the diff, the front. Rear diff, uh, a couple of Aussie lockers, so they're auto lockers, so not like your ARB air lockers, but they're uh, so you guys probably seen them as like the lock right type, so they just engage when they feel a bit like a limited slip diff, so, but they work well. And even though you kind of lose a little bit of steering, it's not that noticeable on this, uh, especially on the front, so they work well. The gearbox, here we go under, I shall say transfer box see it's all protected and it's you know, quite fixed sheet steel running front to pretty much three quarters of the way back onto cross members in the transfer box itself it's got reduction gears crawl gears so they're a 3.07 to 1 so it's a very good rock crawler uh, see if you can see it trailing arms they're not standard, they're triple sleeved. So that's three tubes all welded together. So, because they're pretty vulnerable. Uh, they're bulletproof, but yeah, other than that, there she is. Zuzu Trooper, it's a bit of a weapon. I've no intention of ever selling this. Um, get it harder and harder to find, especially the good ones. See plenty of the three liter sort of versions, the later versions you can get, but 3.1, yeah, just don't seem to exist anymore. There's a few mods that's been done to the engine, a few mods I still need to do. So EGR valves, they've been deleted. Uh, I'm gonna remove the sort of viscous fan in there, put a couple of electric fans on one day, just because when you're going through some mud, uh, it just splashes up everywhere and covers the engine. So last time I was out, did an alternator and I think it's mainly the sort of big fan inside. It just chucks some wood everywhere and it kind of sits on top of the alternator and just drops in. So that's on the to-do list. Chose the worst place to park and walk around the trucks every time I walk around the back stand and all this bloody shit. So right, what we got in the rear? Pretty cool feature. Uh, it's kind of like a split door. You can see, so you've got like a two thirds of a third. I don't know what it's called. So what do we carry in the back? Waffle boards, just in case. There's a set of them under this crap on Bob's bed. And what always surprises me with people who are frozen is I never carry enough of the spares. And you see lads in play size and you know, they're stuck down a hole and it's got some broke shaft or the broker prop shaft or something like that and you say we'll just bang another one in oh, I ain't got one um, so I try and carry everything but what I'll do is another video one day which I'm sure will be exciting I'll just show you what I do carry in spares box uh, such a recovery gear and some of the essential spares that you should just carry anyway for any 4 before. but that's that's another video notice there that that's one of the breathers I put in for the rear axle so that runs from 
so top of the axle and it's rooted through under the body and kind of goes up sits in the top of there so the highest points so that's that uh, obviously the rear has been stripped out uh, there used to be seats in there so there's no seats in there and that I do toy the idea to stick in wheel in there but without dogging back a lot uh, you can see see pop the little sheet there kind of loses a lot of space so that's in the rear let's go into the front what have we got what have we got so uh kill switch put in for the winch that's in there seats are non-standard you can see look so there's some old mx5 seats we've got cb aerial uh, cb there so can just talk to us a little buddies when we're out and other than that inside is pretty standard a decent comfy motor one what i almost forgot is see there that's a line locker so you still got the handbrake hiding down there but the advantage of having a line locker is when you're winching on you're on a steep pill obviously you just put your handbrake on you just the rear wheels but you put a line locker on which when you press the brake pedal in engage the line locker and then you've got all four wheels that are basically locked in because it just locks all your brakes on so very simple mod Easy to do, you can get these little valves, so sort of switches, leaves, whatever you want to call them off eBay, uh, about 20 30 pounds, and then just route it in. And yeah, there you go, you've got four wheel locked all the time, which means, just when you're winching or you know, you're in a sticky moment, engage that, that's it, you're locked in. So there she is, my little trooper. Uh, hope you liked the little video if you want me to go over any of your bits and talk about some of the mods in a bit more detail just stick them in the comments and let me know and i'll start it up just go straight for exhaust so it's kind of pretty meaty for the, the old bus it is 160k on this bad boy now uh but i'm sure it'll just carry on running forever because the like i said he's out bullet but anyway enough of me waffling talking shit thanks again for watching uh i say give me some comments give me some shits I'm not going to get offended, but yeah, and I'll catch you in the next one.